Good morning. It's good to be with you on this Monday morning. Let's take a look today at our call to worship. This is the text that we will use when we open our worship service this Sunday morning here at Grace Point Church here in Napanee. The text is Psalm 103, and this is God's word of David. Praise the Lord, O my soul. All my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it, and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Wow, Psalm 103, a great psalm telling us about the truth of God and his love and compassion for his children and forgiveness. How many times in this statement did he, did he state for us that he's able and ready to forgive? This is just a blessed truth and a blessed text from the Psalms available for all of us who place our faith and trust in Christ. This is available for all who believe. But you might be sitting there today and say, wait a second, Tom, you don't know. My record is pretty bad. Um, I've committed a lot of uh, really dumb things. Um, God can't possibly forgive me for the stuff that I have done. Well, there's a promise in here. Look what it says. And this is, uh, this is in verse 4. It's describing the Lord as one who redeems your life from the pit. So if you feel like you're in the pit, have you been stuck in the pit? Have you been thrown down into the pit? Have you, do you feel so far away from God that God can't possibly reach you? The fact of the matter is this. God promises that he redeems our life from the pit. My friend, you're never out of the grace, out, out of the reach of the grace and mercy of God. You're never out of the reach. Of the grace and mercy of God. And, and we know the full blessing of this, the full uh, fulfillment of this, when we saw Jesus dying on the cross for our sins, redeeming, reconciling, doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. This is how God has fulfilled this. He's fulfilled the promise of Psalm 103. He has fulfilled the promise of forgiveness, and he's done this through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.